Hi guys, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, my lipstick fell. But um, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing um, like my everyday uh, makeup look type thing when I want to get glam or something like that. And a lot of people wanted to see a makeup video, so I just thought. So I put a hairband in my hair to make my you know bangs not in my face or anything. And what I like to start off with is I like to moisturize my face because I get like really dry really fast. My skin is prone to have psoriasis, but I actually haven't had it in like such a long time. Like in maybe like a year or so, but yeah. And the moisturizer that I like to use is Moisture Surge by as you can see it is nearly gone I use it every single every single morning even if I'm not doing my makeup and I like to moisturize my neck as well just so you know you can't forget about your neck next I have to add my primer and I use the complexion primer by Urban Decay and I just put some of that on my finger and just kind of all over my face I don't use like a lot of well this primer goes a little goes a long way but I don't really use a heavy foundation on my skin because my skin is pretty clear as it is so I don't need a lot of like foundation like a, a like high coverage foundation or anything Next, I have to go in and do my brows. I either use this MAC Brow Dip or I use the Inglot Jennifer Lopez um, Brow Dip. But I'm going to use the Inglot one today. This process can be very annoying, but it's also my favorite of doing my brows. Basically, how I do it is I just kind of start... Like, it looks crazy at first, but it's going to get better. I start up at the corner and do the point first. It looks hella crazy until I have the whole thing done. Yeah. So I just speed that up for you. <laughs> brows with the all-nighter urban decay concealer I already put it on my hand this is when the process starts to look a little better because they look kind of crazy right now so I just line out underneath my brow kind of blend it down as I have the line going across bottom and then the top Try to so my eyebrows are all cleaned up they look a little dark but that's because the makeup look I'm going for is like a bit darker because you know it's like a fall look um what I like to do next is I like to apply my foundation and I don't use a heavy foundation as I said I use Hollywood flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury this can be used really as like a base for a foundation or even as a foundation. It's just very light and it's glowy and stuff like that. And it has a really nice applicator. And how I do it is I just put lines all over my face, under my eyes, and on my eyelids. Because you want everything to be the same color. So my face is all covered and everything like that. Then I'm going to go in with eyeshadow and start on my eyes. What I like to use is the Tarte Toasted Palette for the fall because it just has really, really nice fall colors. Looks really nice. Make sure you can see it up there. But what I'm going to use first is I'm going to start off with a base. 
To do that, I'm going to use, I don't know which brush I'm going to use. This number seven eye contour brush. And I'm going to go into Latte and just put that in my crease. Make sure that it's blended out all over my lid really well. So that you don't have any harsh lines. Just blend it all over the lid really. This is just a base. Okay. And once that's done, I'm going to go into which brush do I want to use? This is actually an Urban Decay brush, but it comes with one of their palettes. It's like the really multicolor palette. Um, it has like a blender on the side and then just like a normal applying eyeshadow brush on this side. So I'm going to use Cozy, which is right here. And I'm just going to add that into my crease so that there's two different dimensions of color. I'm also going to get my another blending brush. This is actually could be used for highlighting, but I mean, it's all the same. So just blend that all in. Okay, once I really like what it's at, that's okay. I'm just going to. Add a little bit more, and this part I'm not going to blend. I'm just going to add it kind of through my crease again, a little bit darker. Because I want this color to be seen when I do my next step. I want there to be a range of colors. So once it's Deep enough the way I like it. I'm just going to blend the outsides of it so it's not harsh near my brow bone. And then that's what we got so far. It's looking a little rough, but it all gets cleaned up towards the end. And then I'm going to go into... Fireside, which is right here. It's like a deep kind of purpley color. I don't really know if you can see that very well. There you go. It's this one right here. And I'm just going to put that only on my outer crease. This one. Like that goes. Okay, so that's like going on my outer crease. I'm gonna blend it in a bit so it's not all crazy. You know, that's how it's looking. I, I have a lot of steps to go through, so don't worry. And then I wanna go back into the red color and just make it more obvious I guess yeah okay right now we're looking like we got a black eye but it looks better I promise you and just blend all of that together once I'm done with that, I want to add a highlighter. I'm kind of using it as a um, primer for this next color because I really want this next color to pop. So I'm putting it like halfway across my lid, not all the way. And then just tap that in. So it's not super wet. Okay, now once that is done, I want to add 
a white color. I'm going to use this brush. It's Ulta Beauty eyeshadow crease brush. But I'm going to be using it for my lid. I'm just going to rub it over this concealer. So my makeup looks lighter. My whole lid looks lighter. And after I'm done with that, I'm just going to dab a tiny bit more concealer on my finger. Because this next color is very... Like, it has a lot of glitter and stuff, so it may leave a little bit of fallout. And I want to try to avoid that. So the two colors I'm using is S'mores and Cashmere. These two colors for my lid. Um, get the same brush that I was using. And put it on my lid. These brushes aren't great. That's why sometimes I just get my finger, rub it off, and just apply it myself. I just feel like it looks better. That's what that looks like. Now I want to go back into the other colors and just kind of deepen them a little bit more so that I'm not kind of making them disappear with all the lighter colors. Okay. So I've done my eyeliner and I've popped on some lashes just real quick because those are tedious processes um next i like to put on concealer underneath my eyes so the same urban decay concealer just underneath my eye to brighten it a little bit and then i'll just blend that in real quick Once that's blended, I also go in again to the cozy red color and just add that on my lower lash line. Just to add a bit more depth to my eyes. And then I put on mascara. So once I'm done with my eyes, I started my face and I had the Kat Von D uh, contour palette, which I used literally all the time. It was my favorite thing ever, but it broke. So for now, we are using my Revolution Crusty um, Contour Kit to do all of that. Um, sadly, not what I'd like to be using, but it's what you gotta do. And I gotta blend this in because it's cheaper. So you really gotta blend it. Like right when you put the product on, you gotta blend it because it'll dry it fast. It's a lot cheaper. So yeah. Just touch my face. I do my cheekbones, my neck, like more my jawbone. And then my forehead, because I got a bit of a bigger forehead, so this helps it make it look a little bit smaller. But I have bangs, so I mean, that kind of helps too. And then... Just kind of do it everywhere, kind of darken up my face, because my face is a lot lighter. It's not that sunny over in Germany. Well, it has been this summer, but I'm kind of inside doing school most of the time, so I don't get a lot of sun. So once that's done and my face is contoured, I move on to do a little bit of blush right on the cherries of my cheeks. And blend that in. I'm just kind of in a circular motion. And then highlighter. I'd rather be using a Becca highlighter, but you know. Makeup is expensive. 
I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. I like to use a lot of highlighter. Like I want it to be seen, you know. And I just use this, kind of blend that in a little bit, so it's not looking crazy. So I just added the Huda Beauty lipstick in Wifey, and this is what it looks like. This is the finished product of my makeup. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I don't really know like what I was doing after this video because, you know, it's a lot harder to record yourself doing your makeup and talking at the same time. I was probably using a bunch of weird lingo, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. So once I'm done with my eyes, I started my face and I had the Kat Von D uh, contour palette, which I used literally all the time. It was my favorite thing ever, but it broke. So. For now, we are using my Revolution Crusty um, Contour Kit to do all of that. Um, sadly, not what I'd like to be using, but it's what you gotta do. And I gotta blend this in because it's cheaper. So, you really gotta blend it. Like, right when you put the product on, you gotta blend it because it'll dry up fast. It's a lot cheaper. So yeah, just touch my face. I do my cheekbones, my neck, like well, my jawbone, and then my forehead because I got a bit of a bigger forehead. So this helps it make them look a little bit smaller. But I have bangs, so I mean that kind of helps too. <laughs> and then. Kind of do it everywhere, kind of darken up my face because my face is a lot lighter because it's not that sunny over in Germany. Well, it has been this summer, but I'm kind of inside doing school most of the time, so I don't get a lot of sun. So once that's done and my face is contoured, I move on to do a little bit of blush. Right on the cherries of my cheeks. And then blend that in. I'm just kind of in a circular motion. And then highlighter. I'd rather be using a Becca highlighter, but you know. Makeup is expensive. I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. I like to use a lot of highlighter, like I want it to be seen, you know? And I just use this, kind of blend that in a little bit so it's not looking crazy. And so I just added the Huda Beauty lipstick in Wifey, and this is what it looks like. This is the finished product of my makeup so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i don't really know like what i was doing after this video because you know it's a lot harder to record yourself doing your makeup and talking at the same time and i was probably using a bunch of weird lingo but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it